decided the other day just to start sewing together some hexes that I got. These are all really beautiful fabrics and these were a pack from So Sweet Violet. Um, so I've arranged them how I wanted them and then um, sewed them in rows like that and then just going to start joining the rows together. Doing that thing though where I had them all laid out how I wanted them but now it's coming to sew them together I'm starting to rearrange the rows I cannot do random um, it really annoys me and then I just look at it too long and yeah I get annoyed and I want them in different orders so I'm just going to have to sew them together and get over that so what I'm going to do is turn these into a cushion so I'm going to make a square of hexes so what I'm going to do, I hate the thought of cutting them in half to square it off, so what I normally do is just make half hexy paper templates and then make half hexes, which is really easy to do, and then fill the gaps in so that I don't have to cut them. Um, for the bottom, I, mm, I probably will cut them for the bottom because it's not really worth making a little fiddly bit there. And then I will add a border um, because the cushion pad I've got is really big. I wanted a really big one. And then I can add a pretty border and then I'm going to quilt it and turn it into a cushion. This was a project that I sat and did in the garden one day over the weekend. It was really warm and I just fancied doing something a bit different to knitting. So I started to do this outside. I really, really enjoyed doing it. The rows um, come together really quickly, but joining the rows together takes a lot longer. Um, but that's fine. It's, it's a slow project. And some of the fabrics are just so gorgeous. I've been, I was keeping them in this little case and I've got a little sewing case that I made myself um, specifically for doing hexes really, just to keep everything together. So I've got a little zip, I've got my glue pens in here, I've got a little um, pin cushion bit, pocket, more pockets. And then it just folds up. I did add some teeny hexes. These are, like half inch ones, which I would never make again. They were so fiddly. And then um, it's got the fastener and then a little, another hexy here. So it, it was, that was a little project that I, one of those things that I just had to get with my system. I did show it a bit more in another vlog last year somewhere. I'm not, I'm not quite sure where or when. It would probably be in the thumbnail if you wanted to see more of it. I'm not making these to sell, so, um, just for myself so they are not available to buy but I just wanted to show you this is a pair of shorty socks that I made and I didn't even speak to you before I made them or during the time I made them because they made up so quickly I think I managed to make these in a week or two I love the colours absolutely love the colours and there is no pink in sight oh my goodness what is going on so this is a pattern, a free pattern by Blue Fern Yarns and it's a free pattern just called, I think it's called My Shorty Socks. And I've just taken out some scraps from Stash. Um, these are scraps that have been given though, so I have no idea what they are. But I love the purple, it looks a little darker on the screen. And I went for this nice bluey turquoise colour as well because both those colours are in this gorgeous yarn I don't know what that is either but these are lovely these were knitted cuff down which I haven't done for ages and I have not done a heel flap for ever such a long time so it was good to know that I did kind of remember how to do it and I have actually done it quite neatly um and gusset obviously um and then Kitchener on the toes so yeah it was weird so I've not done um cuff down for such a long time Really enjoyed making these and I absolutely love them. So I think I might make quite a few more pairs of shorty socks and they're also such a good use for scraps as well. Um, yeah, so you can have everything in a different colour if you want or all the same or, or not contrasted at all. But yeah, a really fun little quickie project which was so good to just get on and off the needles. And doesn't my blanket make the perfect backdrop? I've done a few more rows on the blanket, not... Well, let's see where the stitch marker was, actually. I probably have done a lot. I just feel like I haven't done a lot because I haven't done any in a week or two. But after I last vlogged, 
I did do loads, so I used the, I think it was the Jammy Dodger that I used as the progress keeper and yeah, I've done quite a few actually, about seven inches maybe. I've just been enjoying doing some other things this week, um, like the socks and the hexes, so I haven't really picked up my blanket for a wee while, but I still love it. I do look at it every now and then, get it out and just have a wee look. I think a little while ago I mentioned that I messed up one of the dishcloth patterns that I was doing, one of the monthly dishcloth patterns. So I have frogged it. I was using this gorgeous yarn which is a real gold colour. It's not looking right on the screen at all. It's, I would call it, oh, it's a beautiful colour. It's like the colour of golden sunflowers or whatever. Anyway, I frogged it and I've cast on, uh, I've gone back to the wondrous dishcloth pattern. I just find that it makes really nice cloths. So that's what they look like. They've got a bit of a texture there. And here is where I am at with this one. I've got oh, a really yummy looking caramel shortbread stitch worker on that and it makes my mouth water every time I see it. And it's knitted in the round and then you you join the back to the front so it's a really nice cloth and with it being double it's just so much more kind of just feels better to use or to hold than the single layered one and um, so I really prefer this one and I'm managing to do this one without even keeping a note so I feel like I'm getting somewhere so yeah I'm about halfway through that one I have knitted a couple of others a while ago I haven't even used them yet, I just wanted to keep them nice so that when I had a few I could have them all stacked together. So yeah, I think I am yeah, about halfway through, maybe just over. But that's just been really easy knitting as well, which I just seem to have wanted lately, just nothing to think about too much. Um, I did buy some more cotton yarns as well actually, so I'll show you those if I remember. They are up in the sewing room. That is, uh, that looks such a strange colour on the screen but it's just an orangey peachy colour it's nice that's more like it mm. yeah mm. hey i'm just putting up a really short vlog today just to let you know that there is a new mystery box coming out um it's coming out tonight which is friday the 4th of june so by the time you see the vlog um there should still be some in the shops the shops the shop my shop um, so if you'd like one, head over and get one. I'm going to give you a little clue as to what the theme is and um, quite frankly, um, you probably won't be surprised. It was about time that we had a cat themed box. So the next one is going to be cat themed. And if you don't like cats, then what are you doing around here? And are you even a knitter if you don't like cats? So these are back to the normal themed boxes where you get the project bag, some yarn and some other little goodies as well.
I can't remember if I told you that I finished these socks. So here they are. Apologies, I've shown them already. But they came off the needles and the shorty ones went straight on the needles. Straight away, cast on another pair. So these were just my vanilla sort of recipe. It's a Lynn Ashton rounded toe fish lips kiss heel. And they're just vanilla. And this is a West Yorkshire spinners yarn that I believe is discontinued. But if you like it, you may well find some on eBay or someone having a de stash. So that was a nice simple knit. How stunning is this new fabric that I got this week? I got a whole roll of the bee fabric and it is just beautiful. I love that there are little tiny faint bits that you can see which are just parts of the bee. It's like little antennae and things. So sweet. I made up some bags this week. They are in the shop. There's a few left, not much left. Um, I have made some crochet hook rolls, which I haven't done for ages. Um, these are not in my shop yet. Keep an eye out next week and I'll get them in. I love that one with that just little pop of colour inside. That is beautiful. And oh, I love that fabric as well, so so gorgeous. So they will go in next week at some point, I'm not sure when. There are, I think, three bags left. I've got one in the lovely leaf fabric, and another one in the B that's a small one, and that one's a large, and that's a large too. So those are available in the shop right now. I'm going to show you some other new stock that I've got in the shop while I've got your attention. This is the company that I got some labels from. So these are all new in my shop. So in labels, aren't they amazing? How nice would it be to have them inside your clothes or hidden inside a project bag, like a little secret message? Or wouldn't some of these just be lovely sewn inside school uniform or something like that? I think that'd be really sweet. That one is really cool. It has a secret hidden message on it. Nope, the wrong way, wait a minute. I made this. I can do anything. Cool. So these are all in my shop now. You will get, you have to choose which ones you want and then they will come in a little pack like this and you get six in the pack, which is brilliant. Um, so yeah, they are in my shop now and they're just, they're woven so you just sew them on. The long ones are like that and the small ones are like a double folded over one so you would just sew along the top of those ones they are so cool i've got two new scrapbooking sets in the shop and the goodies come in a really cute little box like this a big box and this themed one is flowers you get these sheets of paper which I think are just beautiful and pages like from a book I mean it's not real from a book but what it looks like I love using things like this and then you've got smaller sheets of paper postcards and gorgeous stickers that look so realistic like real pressed flowers and there are some little tags and some stickers as well so that is a gorgeous set that's the first set I've got another one this one is butterfly and toadstool themed. So you get, again, you get the papers, little postcardy things, smaller bits of paper, stickers on a sheet, and then extra stickers and tags. Um, so that is another really lovely set. And there's some nice sheets of paper in that one as well. So nice. And they've got a real, really nice vintage texture to them. Like they're out of a really old book. So pretty. So that is the second set. I just wanted to show you these new stitch markers as well. Aren't they adorable? I had to get every colour. <laughs> so cute. These are also in my shop now as well. 